Hey friend, welcome to the Badass is the New Black podcast, where our motto is done is better than perfect. I'm Chrissy Chin here on a mission to help you grow your business online, turn your leads into lifelong customers and scale to six figures and beyond so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more. Most importantly, I'm a laid back wife, a mom, a friend who started as a peds nurse, turned network marketer, and now a serial entrepreneur. This podcast is for ambitious people with an idea, a vision, but no idea how to get there. On this podcast, I'll give actionable steps to keep you moving forward while you learn new business strategies, better systems and processes, marketing, sales, all the things you need to build and scale a blissful business that keeps your pocketbooks growing. Grab a beverage, open up your notes app, and let's get to it. Welcome back to the Badass of the New Black podcast. I'm your host, Chrissy Chin. Today, I want to talk about when it's forced, it doesn't work. And the three things that I have found that really help me get out of this forced energy is leaning into my feminine, my creative energy, coming back to how I want to show up authentically and trusting that everything is going to be okay. I was doing a self-growth practice this morning and just found myself wanting to, you know, get the success, get the solution, get the release, and just feeling like it was a very forced energy. Like, why isn't this happening? This needs to happen now. Like, I've got to get to work. I've got to get through this practice, right? And it was just felt very forced. It felt very, um, like it wasn't going to happen. Happen. And that's the truth. When something is forced, it is less likely to happen. And I find myself in these places in business. And there are times when I look back at my journey in business in the very beginning, and I am like embarrassed about how much I was forcing it. Like in the very beginning, before Grow Workspace, before like any of that, like trying to grow my email list and trying to think of all these creative ways. I'm like, how can I get people on my email list and reaching out to people and, you know, like, wanting them to share my stuff, but not from like a really like genuine and not intentionally, right? Like the energy I was putting off was very forced and very, I need this now energy and not like, hey, let me come in, let me serve your people and get in front of your audience and just provide value. It was very with this intention, like I need to grow my email list and I need to grow it now. And I know if I, if you promote this for me, like it will happen. And so that energy was moving forward and it wasn't working. It was forced. It was causing blocks. And when I went now, after going through so much self growth and these growth practices and everything, that I'm doing now and just experiencing ups and downs and, you know, really great list building strategies and not so good. I can recognize these moments of, oh my gosh, I was just showing up in a really forced way because whatever the reason, maybe you're showing up in a forced way because finances are really tight right now and you need that financial break. You need that um, more income into your business. And so you're like, I have got to make this work and I have to make it work now. And that's the energy you're putting forward. And so when it's that forced energy, it comes off in everything that you do and every interaction that you have and everything that you create and the success isn't there. But when you can let go, when you can lean into your feminine, if, um, you know, this can be for males and females, you know, you know, a lot of times us females in business, we show up in a very masculine energy, a very like, get it done. Let's take action. Let's execute. And that energy can be very good at times, but oftentimes when we need to tap into our creative side and lean into flow, we have to tap into our feminine energy and guys for you too. Like that might be you where you're like just masculine all the time. We all have masculine masculine and feminine energy. So being able to tap into that feminine energy and out of your masculine for just a minute and let the creativeness flow through you, you will find that you come up with better resolutions and better ideas to move forward. And then coming back to how you can show up in a way that feels authentic to you. So again, like this very forced must must be done now, must do it now, must get the results now, Uh, it creates the like showing up in a really authentic way in not your real energy, 
right? It's like this overtaking, overpowering energy that's not actually really you deep down inside. And so being able to come through, and if you have different practices, medication, med, med, not medication, <laughs> don't do the medication practices, um, meditation practices, our journaling practices, to be able to come back and just, you know, journal and write down in this space. I'm not a, like, I'm not great at journaling, but if I just kind of sit down, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to start writing. It's kind of crazy what things flow out of me. Um, so, and it will just kind of bring you back into this authentic space. Like, how is it that you want to show up? What is it? How, how do you want to serve? How do you want to be perceived? And just kind of letting that flow through so that your authentic energy can come through. And when you're showing up in that way as your true authentic self and not this forced self must show up in this way to, to be successful, it actually happens a lot quicker. And then trusting that everything is going to be okay. And I know that this one is really hard to do. And whatever your source is, whether it's God, universe, spirit, who, whatever it is that you want to turn to, if you want to turn and, and pray, um, you know, and, and just look to to that person, that thing, to build back up your trust and just trust there is a plan for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the journey is going to look like, but I'm just going to surrender and I'm going to trust that I am on the right path and that if I lean into my feminine, if I can show up in an authentic way, if I can show up and just lean into service of others, that it is going to be okay. And God, spirit, universe, whoever is going to provide for me. And I'm going to get everything that I need and even more so everything that I want. And so again, anytime you're just feeling like you're showing up in this forced energy and need things to happen now, remember this episode, remember these three things to lean into your feminine, your creative flow, to show back up as your true authentic self and just trust that everything is going to be okay take three deep breaths. Maybe you need to do that now. Pause the episode and just take a big breath in <sighs> and a big breath out. Even one breath just like dropped my shoulders and relaxed me. So come up with a practice that works for you to ground yourself and get back into this calm, peaceful state of flow and out of a forced energy because forced energy never generates success relaxed flow is connected, aligned, and that's how you generate success. If you're ready to turn your knowledge into an automated online business and create a life of freedom, then go grab my Amazon best-selling book, Sell While You Sleep. This is going to be your step-by-step -step guide to taking your skills, your expertise, your passions, and turning it into a real legit business that actually generates income for you. And I teach you how to automate your business so that you can create more time to be with the people that you love, doing the things that you love while revenue is still coming into your business. Just go to kncreative.com forward slash book launch to grab the book. Once you purchase, you can come back to that page and grab your bonuses, a digital workbook, a first couple chapters of the book so you can get started reading right away. And I've also included a goal setting workshop so that you can have a clear plan of action for the goals so that you can reach your goals. Again, go to kncreative.com forward slash book launch. That's it for today. Super short episode because today I want to give you back more time, more time to dive into your business, maybe more time to take the next 10 minutes to meditate, to journal, and just get back into that creative flow and that peaceful, calm energy. My friend, it's been great. I will see you next week. Until then, go take some imperfect action in your business. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got some value out of this episode, I would love some support. And the best way to do that so I can keep showering you with loads of actionable tips is to hit that subscribe button, leave a review or a comment if you're on YouTube and share this podcast with a friend. And when you share it with a friend on social, please tag me so I can reshare your share in my stories. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out. I appreciate the heck out of you for showing up. And now it's time for you to take imperfect action so you can work less and enjoy and earn a whole lot more.